What do you do with that white ball after drinking mozzarella? Discard. It's like a silica packet more or less. Wait I thought that was the seasoning packets. The reason they say don't eat is because the plastic packet is a choking hazard. The silica inside will harmlessly pass through your body without issue. Someone once asked the creator of silica gel why the package is labeled do not eat if it's not toxic. He replied because it's not food. You plant it in the ground, cover with spruce boughs, water regularly and after a year you can harvest a full-grown moomintrol. Does it somehow depend on a moon cycle? Or it doesn't matter when to plant slash harvest? Planting during a full moon will give you a fat and happy moomintrol, and if there happens to be a comet in the sky the moomin will be born with a top hat. I just throw it into the black liquid that remains after I've eaten my coffee. Or in the yellow slime after you eat an egg. Egg gravy. Proper disposal requires melting on a flat sheet of aerated wet flour. It should then be masticated and digested to avoid decomposition. Use crushed tomatoes and a protein if you want to get rid of it all. Sliced fungus can also help, I've heard. Wait until it's ripe, it turns green and fuzzy. They need it with some ketchup. Yum. Yeah I heard it is a great source of dairy. I normally cut it into small cubes and feed it to the people in my basement. Wow, you must really care of them. Lucky bastards. He has greater plans for them. You shredded that joke. I heard if you eat the white ball it'll give you a boner for a week. Is it safe? Yeah dude I know this guy who knows a guy who went to school with this girl's cousin that said it's totally safe dude. And I know a guy who had a boner once and he said it was totally safe. Yeah, you'll know the boner is over when the mozzarella comes back out. You just gotta wipe it off and get your mom to wash the towel. Don't tell the Italians, you can add water to the ball and store it for a few weeks in a warm and humid place, you just made some fresh mozzarella. Of course you can repeat this procedure, so basically you only need to buy mozzarella once in your life, assuming it's the one with the white ball in it. If you add tomato sauce instead of water and store in a warm and humid place for a few months, you can grow an actual Italian. It's one of the many secrets the baby adoption industry has ruthlessly kept away from the public for decades. Me as an Italian would say that you should just feed it to the ducks to get their trust for your army. I find an Italian duck's opinion of me is very much influenced over whether or not I have mozzarella. I put some soil on it and wait for more to grow. I just throw it into my pit and let my mole people eat it. When you drink all the cheese and there's none left to please, there's the ball A. When you gurgle the curd and shit those hard towards. There's the ball A. When you pee all the time and it smells like pizza pie, there's the ball A. It's called moza. That's where the word mozzarella comes from. It's like Italian lemonade. You shouldn't eat moza, it's a byproduct. Moza means moth poop. If you string it in fibers, you can weave it into a textile called maclilla, also known as denim. Traditionally, Mozzarella was used in monasteries as a ceremonial food. These monasteries in the south of Italy were of the war monks. Their weapon was their battle. Wolves, bred to be the twice the size of the European wolf, and feared across the region. At sunset the evening before the day of their dawn raid, the monks would gather in a special part of the monastery with their lead battle wolf and three generals of the Howl their incursion team leaders. They would chant and dance toward the breaking of dawn whilst sipping the mozzarella, a symbolic salute to the victory spirit that must be consumed to ensure victory. After the monks consumed the last drop of the all-powerful mozzarella, they would hold a white ball from the vessel up to the setting sun and chant one last chant, finishing with an almighty chorus of a wolf's howl. They would then each place the white balls in front of the lead battle wolf who would then consume each of them in silence as dusk slipped into the quiet of the mountain evening. The monks disappeared in the 1840s when the secret Vatican Badger Brigade wiped them out in the Great Monk Cleansing of Southern Italy.